wait a minute. Please talk to me. So what are you here? You're here to tell me you're sorry, too? I am sorry. Look, you can't blame me for what Colton did, and you are in pain. Please let me help you, please. Go away. No, Tony, listen to me. I am still your wife, and you are hurting, and I can help you. I hurt, too, when you hurt. I wish that were true, but it's not. Please, Tony, please listen to me. Please, please. You know what? I wish that you and Colton had never come to Port Charles. Are you all right, Colton? How could you be? Look in this terrible place with people saying that you're a killer. Oh, Mama, I, I wish you hadn't come. Did you think I'd stay away? There's nothing that you can do. I'm just... I'm really sorry that I caused you so much pain. Honey, this isn't a time to be thinking about me. We're going to think about you now. Okay. And we're going to think about getting you out of here. Mama, I know this is going to be hard for you to understand. But I deserve to be in here. I want to be here. Colton, don't even say Listen that. Listen to me, Mama. I want you to get up. And I want you to walk out that door and forget you ever had a son. Uh, please, just do as I ask you. I deserve whatever they do to me. Do you understand that? <laughs> no, I don't understand it. I don't. I'm not going to just let you lie down and die in here. I'm going to get you out and I'm going to bring you home and I'm going to make it all up to you. You don't have anything to make up to me. Yes, I do. All those years, though, I was too busy to pay attention to you. I was out with my boyfriend's trying to live a high life. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Please don't apologize, Mama. Please don't do this. I am sorry, son. I am, but I'll make it up to you. I will. I'm going to get you the best lawyer the money can buy. Mama, please. Just... Just drop it. All right? I don't want you to get me off. There's got to be some answer to this craziness. I know you did not deliberately kill that man. I did, Mama. Oh, Felicia, darling, please tell me this is a nightmare. I can't believe it. It's not true. Is it true? I wish I could. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. Hi, Anna. How Hi. are you? Fine. Oh, I can't believe any of this. I just can't. Do you have any idea what's going on at that studio? Hundreds of people are tying up the phone lines, calling Colton and me a fraud. Well, I think everybody's very shocked. Shocked? Oh, I wish they were shocked. They're vicious. They're absolutely, positively vicious. I can't find Sean any place. Robert would tell me nothing. So I came over here hoping that maybe you could explain what happened. I mean, I don't mean, I don't know you that well. I have just never been so distraught in my life. I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Uh, this is Robert Scorpio here. I was wondering if I could speak to Felicia. Oh, oh yes, Robert. It's Mariah. Here, here she is. Hello? Hi, love. Listen, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I've got to ask you to come down to the station. Oh, that's all right. There are too many unanswered questions in this. I, uh, I'm hoping you might be able to help me out. I understand. Uh, Robert? Yeah? What's going to happen to Colton? Well, I can't say for sure, but, uh, it, it looks pretty bad for him, love. Who's that there? Oh, Charlene, of course. What do you want to call her for? Edward Quartermain, you know perfectly well that Charlene is my friend. And now she's in trouble, and I want to help. Well, you take my advice, you'll stay out of it. I don't know why you wanted to get involved with such a 
ditzy woman like that in the first place. I didn't ask for your advice or for your opinion. And I must say, I think you're behaving abominably. Oh, well, I told you from the very beginning, Charlene is not our kind of woman. I knew she was trouble right from the very minute I laid eyes on her. How can you say that? She's been very dear to both of us, and you know it. Well, maybe she has. How about that do-gooder son of hers? I mean, he may have fooled all the people in this town, but he didn't fool me. I've been expecting something like this to happen. Oh, Edward, why don't you keep your bigoted opinions to yourself until you know the facts? Bigoted? Have you read the paper? Or am I imagining things? Since when do you believe everything that you read in the papers? It could have been an accident. Quarter main residence. Edward, hi, this is Monica. Oh, Monica, how goes the overhaul? Oh, Edward. Well, I am not sure that I'm going to be just as good as new, but I'm certainly working at it. Well, I hope it's worth it. You're missing all the excitement here, you know. Edward, don't you dare ruin her holiday. She'll find out about this dreadful business soon enough. What do you mean? Uh, what, what excitement? Uh, uh, well, uh, well uh, Lila, Lila's all excited for you. She, she just hopes that you're having a good time. <laughs> well, you just tell her it's wonderful. Listen, I called to talk to Alan. Is he there or is he at the hospital? Alan? Didn't he call you? No, I mean, when? Uh, before he left town. When did he leave town? Early this morning. Didn't he tell you he was going to some symposium on family medicine? No, he didn't tell me, but then I'm not surprised. Well, after all, Monica, you're the one that up and left and went to that fat farm. Although, for the life of me, I can't understand why. It is not a fat farm, Edward. It is a spa. Well, whatever. Well, look, I am sorry that I bothered you, but if you do talk to Ellen, would you tell him I called? <laughs> Gladly, my dear. Uh, by the way, what do they do in that place? I mean, if they've discovered a way to reverse the effect of gravity, I'd like to buy some stock in the company. <laughs> Goodbye, Edward. I think you're being unspeakably mean. What did I say? Oh, you know what you said. Monica's a very attractive woman. Yeah, yeah. I gave send what's his name on an errand. I better get that myself. Oh, it's you. Eddie, I need help. You've got to help me. <gasps> I'd like to help some, but you know what would happen if you talk to the police without the patient's permission? He won't let me tell them, Dad. Then there's nothing you can do. I can't stand by and do nothing. Isn't saving a man's life more important than some medical ethic? How could you treat your other patients if you violate the rule of confidentiality? This case is special. The man has confessed to murder. I know the truth. He's not responsible for what he did. You don't have to mention the patient's name. I know who he is, but the, the principle is the same no matter who he is or what the circumstances are. I know are. that. I know that. That's why I'm asking your advice. Let me know how I can convince him to, to let me talk. Well, he must have a very good reason for wanting you to keep quiet. Oh, yeah, he does. He feels guilty. He wants to be punished, Dad. But if you knew why he did what he did, you wouldn't be able to keep quiet either. Look, I, I know you're in a terrible bind, but unless you get permission from the patient to talk to the police, there's nothing you can do. Damn it, I have to do something. And risk losing your license? Is that what you want? That's what it takes. I would rather give up medicine than to see some innocent man suffer needlessly. Son, I hope you'll think seriously about doing something like that. For once in your life, think of the consequences. Think of all the people you won't be able to help if you go off half-cocked, acting on an impulse like some, some hothead. Oh, come on. Operator, please, don't hang up. I have been trying to get through for an hour. Yes, yes, I am. I'm calling from the States. Port Charles, New York. Yeah, right, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Eneki? Prepi no ton vris. Pesto. Na me pare telefono. Tu in troppo iso i kindi nevi. Que tal vez? Kindi nevi. In aparetito. Speak Greek. What? I heard you speaking Greek just now. How wonderful. <laughs> you you understood? Oh, of course I understood. Your accent is almost perfect. <laughs> you, you speak Greek? Oh, I was surprised you, didn't I? As a matter of fact, I speak several languages, and people think I speak them all very well, except English. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Not really. One only has to have an ear for it. Tolipon, mm. <laughs> Navy. You, uh, you misunderstood. Oh, no, I heard you 
say, a man's life is at stake. Is it a, ma a friend of yours, you know, somebody I could help with? Oh, Rooney, I'm sorry. You're such a sweetheart. No, no, no. I was just making a joke. I was talking about myself. I was saying if I don't meet my deadline, my professional life's at stake. It was just a, a oh, joke. Oh, well, it's wonderful to know you speak the language. Maybe we can practice sometime. You know, I don't get the opportunity around here. <laughs> sure, whenever you like it. That would be great. Great. See ya. Sorry, Lila. And I guess I have to apologize to you, too, Eddie. Thank you. I didn't come here to do this. Oh, Charlene, my dear. It's quite all right. We both know what a terrible time you're going through. Yeah, it's perfectly understandable under the circumstances. But why did you have to come here? Because I need help. I need help because Colton isn't going to do a thing to defend himself, and it's all going to be up to me. Well, according to the papers, he did confess to a murder. I know my son is not a killer. I know that in my heart. How can we help? Well, I hate to even impose on you, but... But you do know all the people in town. You know the right people, the ones that I need. I need a good lawyer, and I don't care what it costs. I'll scrub floors if I have to. Oh, I'm sure that won't be necessary. Will it, Edward? Mm, uh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just trying to think of the right proper person that's going to take a killer shark for this one. Uh, there's only one person's name that comes to mind. That's Scott Baldwin. Well, the hospital lawyer. Well, is he allowed to take cases outside the hospital? Well, there's certainly no law against it. Uh, I'm sure he's bored to death with hospital work. Do you think he would take this case? Well, yes, and the good thing is it wouldn't cost you a cent. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, I don't know how to repay you. <laughs> you can begin by doing me a little favor. <laughs> Please don't call me Eddie. Mother. Done. Yeah. Hi, Terry. Thanks for oh. meeting me. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Hi there. Would you like a cup of coffee? Please. Okay. Uh, why don't we grab a table? Okay. So, uh... Why did you ask me to meet you here? Look, I know it's a bad time to ask with, uh... Felicia going through such hard times, but I have to ask. It's my job. It's your job? What is it? Well, the boss is going on a three-day campaign junket, and mm -hmm. he specifically wanted me to ask you to come along. Me? Why? Because he wants you to provide the entertainment, to sing at the rallies. Oh, um, I, I'm, I'm flattered, uh, but I, I don't think I can. That's what I figured you'd say. But I wish you'd think about it. I sure will miss you. Oh, pretty. Thank you. Good to see you as always. Terry. Girlfriend. Hi, Terry. Hi, Bobby. Um, I need your help for a minute. Um, Chet has asked me to go on Gregory Howard's campaign for three days to sing, and I don't know what to do. She thinks it'd be unfair to Felicia. Oh. It would be. I mean, here I would be off having a good time, and she's going through her worst nightmare. Honey, Felicia has plenty of people around her right now who really care about her. So if you want to go, why not go? You really think so? Only three days, isn't it? That's it. So go. Have fun. <laughs> well? Um, um, uh, yes, yes. All right, yes, I would great. love to. Thank you. Great. Now, look, I gotta get back to campaign headquarters, but I will call you later with the details. And thank you, Bobby, for talking her into it. <laughs> I'd sure hate to be without her for three whole days. I'll see you later. And so you just hung around this warehouse until Frisco turned up and you just started blazing away. That's right. You tried to kill a man that you'd never even seen before. Yes. But you don't know why. I didn't say that. And say what you mean. Why did you try to kill Frisco? Damn it! What difference does it make? I said that I killed him. Isn't that enough? It makes a hell of a difference. Listen, I thought we were close to becoming friends here. We were. Then help me out, will you? I can't file some stupid report to the WSB with all these unanswered questions. Look, all you need to tell them is that I am sanctuary. Frisco tried to warn Felicia about me. I just wish he'd listen to his own warning. And what the hell does that mean? Are you one of the terrorists? 
Is Sanctuary your code name? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is I killed Frisco. And I deserve to die, too. Commissioner, police is here for questioning. Hello, Colton. Why did you have to bring her in here? Let's go, Colton. Thank you. Why do you have to question her? She doesn't know anything. Well, you won't tell us a whole lot, so we figure she might. Come Believe on, her, I'm out of here. Let's go. Isn't she been through enough? Felicia, I'm sorry. Did he tell you anything? Only that he killed Frisco and has no defense. You've got no choice, then. None. I have to call up the WSB and hand him over as a killer of federal agent. Hello, Kelly's Diner. Ah, τι θα φμάσει αν μπορώ να μιλήσω στην Ελλάδα; Τι μου λέτε τι καιρό έχετε εκεί; Αλήθεια; Ο έχει εδώ στο Port Charles βρέχει, έχει συνεφιά. Τι να σας πω; Ορίστε; Ah, telephone him up with the General Gastino. Prunella, it's from me. Do you mind? It's private. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dad, where have you been? I have been trying to reach you all morning. What is it? Have you found Ariel? No, there's no sight of Ariel. Colton Shore has just been arrested for the murder of Frisco Jones. Hello. Did you hear what I said? He's in jail. I heard you. You are to do nothing. You are to come home immediately. What do you mean, do nothing? I have to tell them the truth, Dad. You will do as I say. If you become involved, they will think you are a terrorist. We cannot risk the international repercussions. Dad, I am the only one that knows the truth. I'm the only one that can save him. Colton Shore did not kill Frisco Jones. You must leave Fort Charles now. Colton Shore will have to deal with his own problems. I am all right. I am just fine. You were up half the night. You've hardly spoken to me today. And when you do, you bark. Have you heard anything new about Colton? I don't want to talk to you about Colton either. You got it, Amy? Uh, Thomas Hardy. Excuse us. I can't and I won't discuss Colton Shore with anybody. I'm not asking you to discuss Colton Shore with me. I know the position that you're in, but perhaps Amy doesn't. You know, it's very reasonable that people would be concerned. Amy, I'm sorry. Okay. Look, I only had two more appointments this afternoon. I managed to change them. Is there any way you can get out of here early? I'd like to get out of this place. Maybe we could have a drink or something. I'm stuck with one big appointment still. Sorry. Well, I guess with my lousy disposition, I wouldn't be the best company anyway. Come on. I'll try to be home as soon as I can. Good. Yeah. I'm going to sign up. Okay. Amy, I'm signing out for the day. And you want to leave me a number where you can be reached? Just in case. I have no idea where I'll be, Amy. Wait, why don't you just... Uh, I'll be at the Port Charles Hotel, okay? Uh, oh, good. Maybe I'll meet you there after work. Damn it. Tom! Thank you. How you doing? Olivia St. John around? Well, not since she left earlier. Oh, okay. I got a friend here, so uh, give me a scotch and soda. Make it a double. Hey, Tom. You saved me from drinking alone. Same. Have a seat. Ah, I got one coming. It's for me. Well, put that on my bill. No, 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 no. No, I, I'm gonna have to bend you a little bit, so I'll buy. Okay, thank you, Scott. I need some advice about a client. I wouldn't trust any advice from me at the moment. Well, this is uh, an important case to me. And I, this is the best one I've had in a long time, and it's sort of open and shut against my client. To win this, it'll do a lot for my career, and I need your advice to do that, Tom. Well, you better ask me fast while I can still think. Yeah, you're sort of uh, knocking them back there. You okay, Tommy? That's the idea, Scott. 
the idea. Well, I need all the information I can get about Colton Shore. What? Colton Shore is my client. You don't understand, Scott. He was my patient. I can't talk about the sessions I've had with him. Well, I understand the confidentiality between a patient and a doctor. But, but Colton or anybody has to know about what we talk about. I can't go against my oath as a doctor. I can't, and I won't do it, Scott. Oh, come on. Tommy, I'm your cousin, for crying out loud. This is important. Will you stop it, Scott? Listen, Scorpio thinks he has his case nailed down, and I will have nothing more than to show this town exactly what they got stuck with, Commissioner Scorpio. This is important. I need this. Now help me out, Tommy. Damn it, I can't help you or anybody else. Not even Colton. Tom, I'm what? here to take care of you. I don't need anyone to take care of me. Simone always takes care of me in a pinch. She's always there. Simone's always there for me. Well, well Simone had a patient, so well, I thought on. I would... Tom, 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 Tom. I would come and help you both out. I don't want to drink some. No, no, no. Well, it's okay. It's why all right. don't you just no, no, no. lean on me and we'll walk very carefully, huh? Where are we going? Home. We're going to go home. home. Of all course. Right. You okay? You going to be all right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Come yeah? You know, Simone says I have a really good voice. That's right. my seatbelt. So she loves me. Bye, Care for another drink? No. No, I may come back later. In here. Good morning. I guess from your point of view, it's not so good, though. How you doing? What are you doing here? Didn't your mother tell you? She hired me to represent you. I don't need any representation. Well, you can't go into court without it. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't need a lawyer. Well, your mother disagrees. That's why she hired me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to get you off, Colton. I want to go back to my cell. No, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. This is your arraignment today, and I have to talk to you. I've talked all I'm going to talk. Yeah, I know. I, I, you're probably all tapped out and you feel it's all stacked against you. But once we sort things out... There's nothing to sort out, okay? I've talked to the police. I've given a full confession to Robert. There's nothing that you or anyone else can do to change well, that. Well, that's not true. There are a number of things that we can do. For example, your confession. It was taken under duress. There's a lot of legal maneuvers here, Colton. And I think that I can get you off, okay? Look, get this through your head. I don't want to be saved. All right, Phyllis, and please get back to me. Yes, at this number. All right, fine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, good morning. Morning. I hope I didn't wake you. No, you didn't. Have a good sleep. You haven't slept in days. Mm -hmm. Good, well, there's some coffee on the stove. What would you like for breakfast? Who's Phyllis? <laughs> She's my travel agent. I don't want you to leave. It's time. I don't want to say goodbye. Well, this time you won't have to. You're going with me. For some time now, I have wanted to take a world cruise. Doesn't that sound wonderful? A trip around the world? I want to see all those places that I've only read about and, and seen on television or in the movies. Well, what do you think? Well, if that's what you want to do, I think you should do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Especially now that I can afford it. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is, the thing that's been stopping me is that I didn't really like the idea of doing it alone. I thought it would be a wonderful thing to share with someone. And I'd like it to be you. You're doing this for me? For both of us. Oh, please, say you'll come. How long would we be gone? As long as it takes. As long as it takes for what? As long as it takes for you to get your life back together. Oh, come on, Felicia, you've got to get away. This is a perfect opportunity. Doesn't it sound just the least bit tempting? Yes. Yes, there, you said yes. No. Grandmother, yes. I would love to spend time with you. I would. 
But I can't leave right now. Why not? Just give me one good reason. Because of the complex. We just opened it. The complex. From what I've seen and from all the work you've done, there are people just lined up and ready to make that whole place run smoothly. I don't want to let anybody down. Darling, I know that Frisco's memorial is important. But even more important than that now is you. You won't be any good to the complex or to anything if you don't get your life back on track. I'm grateful. I hear another butt coming up. All right, now look, I, I won't say any more, but there's still time to make a decision. So please, just, just think it over seriously and then let me know. I will. Oh, it'll be so glorious. You know, we can, we can go first to the British Isles, and then we can visit all the ports of Europe. Now, Venice has always been first on my list. <laughs> what about you? Felicia? What is it? Fulton. It's going to be a rain today. Oh. We're due in court pretty soon, so let's get to work. I uh, read your police report. I have nothing to add to the statement. Well, there's one big loophole, and that's motive. Nor did you say or did you even hint as to why you wanted to kill Frisco Jones. What difference does it make? Well, that makes a big difference, because he didn't know the guy. Why would you want him dead? You read the statement, I killed him, period, all right? He was after a group of terrorists. Does that have anything to do with it? Were you working with them, or were you working with him? Okay, let me put it to you this way. Why were you in Quebec the day he was killed? Were you hired to kill him? Is that it? Come on, you can tell me. Colton, don't fight me. Work with me. I've got to go into court and I've got to have something. Now give me something, anything. I have nothing to say. No, I think you have plenty to say, but you choose not to. And I don't know why. Now one more time. Give me something, because if you don't, you killed a federal agent, that's maximum punishment. And I'm not talking about life imprisonment. I'm talking about the death penalty. I know that. That's exactly what I deserve. Look, whether you did it or you didn't, that's not the point. If you stay on this course, you're committing suicide. And I will plead insanity before I let you do that. Uh, the phone. The, the I'll phone. Get it, I'll get it. How's coffee? It's great. Can it pour me another cup? Mm, you have to be at the courthouse. Hello? Oh, hello, Chief Lewis. Good morning. Yes, he's here. Hang on. It's for you. Um. Uh, for you? Hello. He's waiting. This had better be good, Lewis. Good morning, Commissioner. Well, it sure started out that way. Look, I don't want to spoil it, but, uh,. Just got a phone call. I figured you want to know. Two WSB agents are on their way over here. They should be here any minute. Well, just keep me entertained until I get there. Uh, give them uh, uh, Colton's uh, statement. I'll see you in a while. What's going to happen to Colton? Give will be a rain today. And then? Justice will take its course. You know, I don't believe for a minute that he's a killer. He's fooled a lot of people. Are you saying you think he is? Well, he confessed. And by the way, did you, um... Did you speak to Anna last night about how, Robin? How could I? I was here. Besides, look, I've already explained the whole situation to Lavery. I would assume by now he has conveyed the information to Anna. I worry too much. That's right, you do. Now, much as I hate to admit it, I have a job to do, and I should get on with it. I'll take that. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hey, volunteer with a wheelchair. Did you read this about Colton? Uh, it only makes things worse. What? Nothing, Amy. Nothing. Do you have a headache? A big one. I really wonder how Colton feels. You know, I, I just can't believe any of this. I, can't, I don't think anybody who knows him can. It says that a bunch of his fans are picketing outside the jail. Don't you figure that there's something more to this? 
that we don't know about? It doesn't make any sense to talk about it. Guess not. Hope you feel better. So do I. Oh, Tom, I... Sorry. I almost forgot. Felicia called and she wants to talk to you. See you. Yeah. I figured she would. Thank you, Amy. You know, I prefer the way the Irish say it. Top of the morning to you. Aye, and the rest of the day to yourself, darling. <laughs> but it's nice to see you smile again. You know, you looked rather grim when I came over here. Yeah, and uh, I'm sorry about yesterday, okay? Ernie, here's your eggs just the way you like them. Thanks. It's something about the shore guy, isn't it? I don't want to think about it. I talk to him plenty of times, right in here. I guess you never know about people. I hope there's a fresh pot brewing. Well, hi there. How's it going? Okay, considering. Felicia, how is she doing? Oh, what can I tell you? Mariah's with her. That's the best. I mean, we all try to help, and I'm sure everybody at the Brownstone has, but there's not much we can do. You're right. There isn't much anybody can do. I told the same thing to Terry when she called. She's been off with Jet, campaigning for Gregory. As in Howard. Don't know any other Gregory. I wish you did. Maybe. Honey, I love you, and I worry about you. I know, but there's no reason to. Don't worry. I'll get it. Kelly's? What's that? Oh, just one moment, please. I'll see if he's available. Ipa, per a minute, and you'll see me, because I'll go on your door, and actually... The overseas operator's for you. Tell him I'm not in. She ignored me a lot, then put on the noise of the to Paron. Yes, mate. Is there any message? Well, he didn't leave you a message, but he said some pretty nasty things in English. It's just like him. Well, he'll call back. In the meantime, could I have a little bit more coffee? I think I'm going to need to brace myself. Sure. Well, it's my turn to run to you. I mean, what are sisters for, right? Oh, well, wow. looks to me like sisters are for interrupting busy work days. Shirley, and many times I have stopped everything for you. I'm serious. I need somebody to talk to, okay? Okay, what's wrong? What's not wrong? Colton is in jail. Felicia is not answering her phone. Sean is... Oh, God, I mean, where Sean is. I tell you what, I'm going to kill him when he comes back. He's the only person I know that can get Colton out of this entire mess and get him back on the air where he belongs. Well, I hate to discourage you, but that's not at all what Robert is thinking. Robert can't possibly think that Colton is guilty. Well, from what he said to me, he doesn't even seem to have a question about it. That is, unless he's playing it very close to the vest. Well, then why doesn't Colton defend himself? I mean, if he did kill Frisco, which I do not believe for one minute that he did, I'm sure there's an explanation for it. Now, I'm going over to see Colton today, and I'll just pry it out of him. That's the other thing. Robert says Colton isn't talking to anybody. Well, somebody has to talk some sense into the guy. I wish you luck. And I wish I could say something or do something that would make you feel better. You have, thanks. You let me blow off steam. Thanks. Good. Now, maybe you'll let me get back to work. I have quite a few of my own problems today. It's not Robert again, is it? Robin is moving in with him. And for Robert, that is just one more way to get close to Anna. Well, I think it's staring you right in the face. I mean, instead of sitting here worrying about Anna, why don't you think about how Robin moving in with Robert could help you? Tiffany, I am not going to use that little girl. I know that. I'm not suggesting you do. I'm just suggesting that when Robin moves in, that's a good opportunity for you to kind of work your way into Robert's life more. I mean, he's never been a full-time father, has he? He's going to need a little help, and who's he going to turn to? He's going to turn to you. He already has. See? It's working already. Unless you don't want to be called Mom. <laughs> no, I'd love that. Well, then you shouldn't be afraid to let Robert know it. You should tell him all the time. Now, stop all this nonsense. I'm the one that has a real problem, not you. I gotta go find out how Colton's gonna get himself out of this mess. Okay? Goodbye. Bye.
Ah, gentlemen. Mr. Shaw's attorney, Scott Baldwin, Ludlow Baker, WSP How Washington. Do you do, How do you do? I trust you've explained the procedure here. Yeah, my client understands. I'm obliged to tell you that uh, although you've confessed, you are entitled to plead not guilty because there are extenuating circumstances in this case. Yeah, I wish you would reconsider. No way. Let's just get this over with, all right? Let's go. Robert. How's Felicia? She's okay. I'd worry about myself if I were you. Hello, Ruby. I'm looking for Felicia. She's right over there. And would you like a cup of coffee? Ah, uh, black, please. Come here. I hope I'm not too late. I'm glad you could meet me here. I didn't want to talk at home with my grandmother there, you know. I understand. Um, how are you doing? I'm over the shock, I suppose. I just... I just have to find out some answers, and I think that you can give them to me. Here's your coffee. Thank you very much, Ruth. Felicia, dear, can I get you something else? No, thank you. Okay, well, if you change your mind, you give a holler. I'll be right at the okay. counter. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to go absolutely nuts if I don't find out something that's going to explain everything that happened. Have you talked to Colton? Well, not since the... <laughs> well, I didn't come here to get emotional. I just want to get some answers. The fact is, I saw him in Robert's office and we couldn't talk. Felicia, before he was arrested, did... Colton say anything to you at all about any of our session? Yeah, he, he said that he was starting to remember. He said that he was doing it for us. How could I believe him? How could he say that he loved me? How could he make love to me knowing that he killed my husband? I can only tell you one thing. He didn't lie to you. He did love you, and he still does. You know, if what you say is true, and Colton really does love me, then why doesn't he do or say something to defend himself? He's being arraigned today, and if he goes on trial, he'll be found guilty, and then he'll pay the death penalty. Take it easy. I have to know what happened in Quebec. I can't answer that. Well, you must know something. That's what those sessions were all about, to help him remember. And he told me that he remembered. He said that he killed someone, and he would certainly remember why he did it. Alicia, I'm sorry. I can only tell you that he loves you. You can ask me a thousand times, but I can't tell you any more than that. I wish I could. Have you talked to him? I pleaded with him. No matter what I say, he's determined to pay for what he's done. Hi, there's room over here at the counter, friend. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just take that table over there, Colonel. Right, yes. This whole thing is impossible. If you can't help Colton, who can? If I knew, I'd find that person. Colton did care for go accidentally. Or if he did do it in a way that he didn't know what he was doing, then somebody has to speak up. Felicia, I can't be the one. I can't tell anyone what I know unless Colton lets me. Why? It's okay, Prunie. Don't worry about it. I'll get this one. My oath is a doctor. Okay. I cannot write doctor patient. Seen that guy hanging around the complex. What's he do? Oh, he's a writer. And he does a bit of this and a bit of that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just calm down. Don't get excited. Why are you still in Port Charles? I ordered you home yesterday. I'm leaving today. I've already got my reservations. I don't understand the delay. Colton Shore die for something that he didn't do. Don't you understand that? I warn you, do not get involved. Look, I promise I won't. But before I go, there's something that I have to do. Well, 
twice in one day, to what do I owe the honor? Well, good news, actually. I thought I'd come by and help ease your mind about Felicia. Well, I could use some good news, and I was getting ready to take a break, so why don't we sit down? Good. Oh, good. It's about time you got off your feet. I'll take care of everything. Thank you, Prunella. She seems to be working out very well. Well, so far, so good. Now, what's this about Felicia? Well, I had a long talk with your grandmother. Mariah has invited Felicia to go on a cruise, hmm. and she thinks Felicia's going to go for it. Oh, I think that's a wonderful idea. And they're planning to go around the world. What do you think of that? Absolutely terrific. Why should she sit around here being reminded of Colton? You know, even I think of him. Hey, you're pruny. Hey. <laughs> Can you get something for me, please? Uh, a burger, BLT, or hash? <laughs> no, nothing for my stomach. Actually, it's for my files. I've got them spread all over my room. I can't even lie down in there anymore. <laughs> I thought maybe you might have a cardboard box or something that I might use back in the kitchen. Oh, well, it's the only two places to have a look for you. <laughs> Thank you, love. What's the guy got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? And what does the lady have to do to get a break around here? Oh, I'm sorry, that Ruby. I'm a little uptight. Oh, well, that seems like a new condition for you, dare I ask <laughs> why? Well, I just came from the courthouse. Colton Shore's arraignment. What does that have to do with you? Didn't you know I'm representing him? Well, I see that you two have no confidence in me, but his mother obviously does, and I'm doing it as a favor. Now, will this do? Uh, perfectly, thanks. Well, happy housekeeping. Okay, so? Maracalo, see you yes, later. Yes, so. Yes, <laughs> So, um, tell us what happened. From the looks of you, it didn't go very well. Well, it lasted all of about five minutes. I couldn't get him to change his mind. His plea is guilty. Then what happens? Well, the wheels of justice will take over and he'll be found guilty and sentenced to death. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, just a moment. I'll get the box. Excuse me. Ruby? Yeah? Delivery boy here. I'll be back in just a minute. Excuse me. Okay, young man, bring it over here. I know how you feel. Save it. I do. I, I care about what happens to Colton. Oh, Scott, you don't care about anybody. You do a favor for his mother, and all you get is publicity. You don't care about Colton. You care about boosting your career. Okay, fine. While we're on that subject, I've been trying to get an appointment with your friend Gregory Howard. There's an opening in the DA's office. So? So? He's the one that can put me in there. <laughs> well, Scott... I'm sure Mr. Howard has better things to do. Why are you telling me? <laughs> Come on, Bobby. I saw the two of you at the Port Charles Hotel last night. It was probably pretty romantic, I bet, with all the wine and the music and the candlelights. So you see, that's why I'm bringing up the job in the DA's office. I want you to influence Mr. Howard. Or I could talk to Mrs. Howard and tell him about your little secret rendezvous with her husband. Ten minutes. Hi. Are you all right? That's a, that's a stupid question. I'm sorry. Of course you're not all right. I'm... I'm sorry. I just can't believe this is happening to you. I'm fine, really. I knew you were going to say that. You're not fine. You've got to get out of this place. I mean, you shouldn't even be in here to begin with. Now, Sean is going to be able to help you out of this. I don't know where he is yet as soon as I locate him, but I know he'll be able to help you. But in the meantime, I want you to tell me what happened. All I know is what I read in the papers. If you start joking about this, I'm going to absolutely fall apart, okay? I'm just... I am barely holding on to a thread about this. Now, I do not believe for one minute did what they say you did. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but just leave it alone, okay? Why did you say that? Do you want me to believe that? Are you saying that you killed Frisco? Then if you did, then you tell me why. It doesn't matter. The hell it doesn't matter. What are you talking about? For months you've been on that show talking about, talking about honesty and courage and, and peace and love and hope. How dare you say it doesn't matter? And what about Felicia? Doesn't it matter what she thinks? Look, I killed a man. And I destroyed Felicia's life. Now please, don't try. 
try to help me and don't let anybody else try, all right? Who's winning, the bulls or the bears? Oh, it scared me. Sorry, there's no one out there. I just kind of barged in. Well, I, uh, I thought I was going to pick you up later. The arraignment didn't take all that long, so I figured we might be able to fit in an early lunch. Oh, sounds great. Hmm. Maybe I can rest you from the animals of Wall Street, perhaps back to your place. Perhaps the fact that Robin isn't going to be home for a couple of hours. That's, of course, if you can find the time for me. Hmm? I think I can arrange it. Hmm. Incidentally, who is winning? Oh, you never know till the end of the trading day and the last bell rings. Well, I'm just calling the last bell, you dingling. Come on. <laughs> That's it, boss. Go out. <laughs> Tom Hardy was so sure that Colton wasn't lying to me. So very sure. Well, didn't Tom spend a lot of time with Colton? Hours. Well, then he must know. Tom Hardy knows a lot more than what he's telling. What else did he tell you? He told me that Colton meant it when he said that he loved me. Well, that must put your mind at rest. Oh, it makes things worse. Oh. Well, it, it didn't he go any further? It, didn't he explain why he'd said that? He said that he couldn't. He said that he wouldn't. He's hiding something. I know he is. I could see it in his eyes. I even asked him about it. But he said he wouldn't tell me no matter what. Well, of course, he is a doctor. He can't break a confidence. That's uh, the same as it is with a priest. Even if somebody's life is at stake? Oh, my darling. I, I wish I had the answers that you want. I just hate to see you this upset again. That's why I want you to come away with me so that you can just rest and relax and have a chance to think things through. Before I go anywhere, there's something I have to do. I have to see Colton again. I gotta get out of here. Uh, before I go, I just want you to know that I have... I have no intention of giving up on you, even if you have. I'll leave it alone. That's like telling the wind to stop blowing. Listen, I am your friend. As well as being your employee, but I'm also a newswoman. And no matter what you say or you don't say, there is more to this story than anybody has said thus far, and I intend to find out what it is. Please, Tiffany, just stay out of it. You can ask me all you want, just like I have asked you to please help yourself. I guess neither one of us are going to change our position on this, are we? No, Tiff, if you really want to help. Yes, yes, just name it, I do. Well, when you see Felicia... Could you just tell her? Tell her what? Well, tell her that I... Well, just tell her that I said, um... Goodbye.
being Frisco's brother, how do you feel about the death penalty? No, get that thing out. No, wait, wait, wait. Excuse me, sir. You took the Hippocratic Oath to save people's lives, correct? All I want to know is, should we execute your brother's killer? Yes, sir. Let me see this. Well, if they don't execute him, then there's no justice in this country. And if they kill him a thousand times, it'll never make up what he for what he did to my brother's wife. Yes, sir, I agree, but may I quote you on that? Absolutely. I guess this is enough stuff. Uh, I have no idea how to partially travel around the world. Oh, darling, we can pick up what we need along the way. It's all civilized. Let me see the newspaper. What? Uh, Come this? on, I can't be any worse than what I've already experienced. And it won't do you any good to dwell on it. Richard. Oh. All right. Sean. I'm glad you're here. Oh, Sean. Are you okay? You're mm. all right? Oh. Now, sweetheart, I got off the plane. I read this crazy story about Colton. There's got to be some kind of mistake here. I couldn't believe it. You listen to me. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I promise. I promise. All right, Princess, now tell me what the hell happened with Colton. I don't know. I don't really know the story. Colton just admitted that he's the one that they call Sanctuary. And then he said he's the one that killed Frisco. He told you that? Yeah, he said that. He was working with Tom on some therapy sessions about some mental images that were bothering him from the past. Those mental images were Frisco? Tom wouldn't tell me. From Colton, I, he won't tell me anything either. The only thing I have to go is what Colton confesses. Except that... Except what? Tom said that Colton meant it when he said that he loved me. Now, I can't imagine him doing anything to hurt you like this. Now, obviously, we're not getting the whole story here. But if, if Colton won't tell her anymore, then, then what is she supposed to do? Who are you calling? I call Robert. I want to read Colton's statement. Maybe there's something in there that can help us. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you for coming. Now, Princess, I uh, may not be any luckier than anyone else. So, but who knows? I, <laughs> I might find out something. I hope so. You know, I picked Colton as the type of guy with everything. I, I was all set to let you fall in love with him. You know how picky I am when it comes to you. Yeah, I know. And you also know how I hate to be wrong. That's only because I'm selfish. I, you know, it hurts me too much to see you in pain. I love you so much. Love you too. I'll be back before you leave. Bye. Bye bye. Mm, hi, darling. I know. you the world has gone crazy. Oh, I mean America, lovey. What is it this time? The first Colton. I mean, he did. Whatever he did. Mm. And now Ripley, my star boarder, he takes off splits without a word. Oh, dear, I hope he didn't stiff you for the rent in the restaurant bill. No, as a matter of fact, he left me a check for an extra month. And a note. But then, he's a writer. Well, look, you go on down and I'll clean up after our star reporter. Thank you, appreciate it. Well. Part of his kiss here, hasn't it? Oh, Sean Donnelly. Oh no, wait. It's from Ripley to Sean. I didn't know they were made. Oh no, Robert would not approve if I burglarised a box belonging to Sean, even if it was half an accident. Oh, but Sean's out of town, and what if it's something that would spoil? 
I'll finish cleaning up here and then I'll take it down to his dorm and I'm certain Sean will tell me what it is later. I am very moved by your offer, and I know it was heartfelt, and frankly, I could use the help, but uh, did Lucy put you up to this? Dr. Jones, this is just my way of saying thank you for being so nice to me. Great. You got a deal. All I'll right. pay, too. <laughs> no, you keep your money in your pocket. Now, I've got to run over to Kelly's, and I'll be right back to pick up BJ, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Oh, hi there, Mariah. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Is Felicia here? No, she wasn't back. She wasn't here when I got back from the hospital, so I, I thought she'd be up to her elbows and packing. Well, Sean was here, but then he left. I do hope she didn't follow him down to the police station. Sean seen Colton? Yes. Oh, well, you know how he loves Felicia, and he thinks he can do something for Colton. Ah, she should be just putting this all behind her. You know, false hope is only going to prolong her pain. What do you mean? What you have there is the statement of a man who has confessed to killing a federal agent. No, what I read just now was some kind of fantasy concerning this thing, and I don't believe a word of it. You know what? I'm rather surprised at you too, old buddy. I mean, trying to hold someone on somebody on something so thin. Does the word evidence mean anything to you? Does it ring a bell in that head of yours? All you've got is Colton's word. Well, given the fact that what he's confessed to carries the death penalty, I take his word rather seriously. And what the hell am I standing right here arguing with you for? Because all of the answers are locked up downstairs in his head. As you wish. <clears throat> a Scorpio here. Uh, Sean Donnelly wishes a word with uh, Colton Shaw. Really? Who is it? Hmm. Never heard of her. Well, listen, when she leaves, uh, give me a buzz, will you? Thank you. It appears that he has a visitor, which leaves us to continue our chat. I don't even know anybody by that name. Why are you guys forcing me to come and see somebody that I don't... I told you that I can't see you anymore. There's nothing I can say. No, 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 please don't go. We may never see each other again.